I know I don't make videos like this often or at all, <laughs> to be honest with you, but I wanted to do one about this particular movie. The particular movie in question is called The Beast Within, and it's got, what's his name uh, here, uh, Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. There he is. Yeah, we, we have uh, Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. Again, the, the name of the movie is Beast Within. And it was supposed to be in July 26th in theaters, but to be honest with you, I tried to find it and I couldn't. So I had to really like go out of my way and purchase it on Apple, the Apple Plus or Apple TV or whatever, whatever the Apple streaming service is, so I could watch it. Now, why? You're probably wondering. Well, because it's a werewolf movie. And if there's something that I fucking love in this world are werewolves. I absolutely love them. I think the werewolf curse is my favorite like beast curse of all time. Uh, so I'm going to dive a little bit into spoilers later. Now the question is: Do you do you, should you watch this movie? Yes, you should. A hundred percent. You should watch it. Like, period. Um, th this is the story about a family that lives like out in the woods, and you get to see like how badly affected this curse is affecting the the um, the mother, the father. Uh, we have Jon Snow as the werewolf. And I'm not telling you anything that the trailer is not showing you. So just FYI. And and there's just a mystery that apparently the, the entire family knows about. But the daughter doesn't. So it's, it's, it's up to now the family to see how they live with this curse. And that was the very first thing that I was actually attracted to on this movie. Because you get to see like how the werewolf curse usually tends to tends to affect the 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 main character and destroys his life around it here it's like he's being a werewolf and they live with this so how can they keep going you know so honestly i thought that was a fantastic premise and i and i watched it now one thing that i i got to say and it really didn't give me a whole lot of like good vibes is the fact that if you look at the ratings, the movie is sitting at a whopping, whopping 2% on, on the reviews. It's the reviews are not favorable to this, to this movie. Uh, they're really not. And that's why I kind of wanted to talk about this movie because I don't think that anyone that watched it for real um, really, like the people that are giving bad reviews, I'm reading at their reviews and they are not earned. So I'm here to defend this movie because I really liked it. I really, really, really liked it. So I'm going to dive into spoilers like very big spoilers. So here's my recommendation. Go and watch it, enjoy it, and try to understand it as the movie, and then come back to this video so I can talk about this. Uh, so you can hear my ramble again. But here's the thing. Again, major spoilers. Are we good? Major spoilers. Okay, major spoilers. So the movie is not necessarily a werewolf movie. Because throughout the movie, you do get to see the transformation of the dad every full moon. You get to see how the dad is just more animalistic and there's something off about him. But he still, like, likes his family. He loves his daughter and everything. We get to see the grandpa character just being like, dude, he he he. we need to do something about him. Like... And for the entire duration of the movie, I was like, yeah, you do need to do something about him. You need to, like, chain him up and just, you know, that's it. End his life. Because as, as the movie goes on, you get to see that the, the wife 
is just the receiving end of all this frustration and everything. You get to see bruises on her, and I, like she is going through an incredibly damaging relationship. And you think that it's because of the curse of the werewolf. And he's, you know, becoming so violent. And at the end of the movie, you get to realize that that is not the case. He is not a werewolf. The werewolf was constructed by the little girl to just kind of cope with the actual reality of the situation. The reality of the movie is that we don't see him. We see him through her eyes. And whenever he becomes a insanely violent individual, she sees him as a werewolf. Because that's the thing that makes the most sense. But we get to see that that isn't the case. He's just an alcoholic. He's an abusive father that beats the living crap out of his wife as well as terrorizes his family and he's just consumed by vice, alcohol and everything. So throughout the entire movie, we want to relate to him because we see him as such a, on a downward spiral where we see that this curse of the werewolf is consuming him and it gets worse and worse and worse. It is a curse, just not a fantasy curse. It's a real one. There is one particular scene where they they touch this upon where he is like in bed with his wife and daughter and they're just like laughing together. And the wife says to him, I love when you're like this. And it's such a beautiful moment. But then we don't see the full memory until the end of the movie where we see him react to like, what do you mean like this? And he ruins the moment by becoming aggressive and he starts throwing shit around and and, just, uh, and he starts yelling at her, never in front of my daughter, you hear? And so we get to see that there was no monster all along. Well, there was but not a mythical, fantastical creature. It was him all along. And most of the reviews that I see of this movie are really, really stupid. <laughs> Just say it. They're really, they're really stupid reviews because I see a lot of people complaining that this is not a werewolf movie. They wanted to see a werewolf. They wanted to see chases. They wanted to see violence and then ends up being this retrospective perspective of like domestic abuse and and shit and it's like bitch that that's the point like this is a metaphor this is what it is the fact that you didn't get that message it's worrying some but you know i wanted to talk about this movie because i feel like it's very underrated and a lot of people are not putting a lot of attention on it like is it the best movie no but as an art movie that has a message to tell, it's good. I liked it. I really liked it, and I will defend it. And it's gone onto my list of good werewolf movies. Like, werewolf movies are very hard to come by when they're good. This one, I would say, is good. So I would watch it if, you were, if, if, if you're into this type of stuff. So go ahead and let me know what you think of it. All right, that's it.